Welcome to Thailand Guided Tours for 2024, that's November 2024. What I have before you here is a whole, um, a whole schedule of dates and the things that we're going to be doing. And if you're interested, at the, at the end of these slides, there's an opportunity to uh, make contact with me and uh, talk through all the trip. And it's not necessary to do all of the trip. You may only want to do some of it, but I'll talk you through that as we go through this particular um, uh, schedule at this moment in time. So the first thing is, who's going to be interested in, in, in going on this type of tour? Well, if you're the type of person that travel has been traveling by yourself and um, you go and you, you, yeah, for whatever reason, you're just going away and you have to travel by yourself. And normally you end up meeting meeting people there, uh, but you perhaps would have preferred getting to know a few people before you go. And especially if you're going on such a long uh, distance, because flying to Thailand is, is normally around 14 to 15 hours uh, flight. It, it, it's a long time. And therefore, most people are gonna go for two, three weeks and maybe even longer and as a consequence to that you, you're gonna uh, it's, it's nice to have a bit of company and share your experiences along the way and that's exactly what this is about so if you're by yourself then this is an ideal thing uh, for you to go and to meet other people to share that experience with you but you may be a couple and may it may be a, a couple or you, you may even be a, a few of you together but you've you, you're just a little bit unsure about perhaps trying to put all the connections together when when you're in this, somewhere like bangkok or pattaya then the, the, the language is never a problem but it's when you go out maybe to the countryside or or, or places that not are not really touristry and you don't really get uh, a, a, a big source of uh, well as thai calls farang within within that sort of location so english may not be a spoken language so it may be that you just you're unsure about the language about the food that you're going to order and uh, you wanted to travel but the connections you're unsure about how you're going to explain yourself what's going to happen if you get lost if you've got those type of uh, things that are concerning you then again this type of trip is absolutely ideal for you <clears throat> How does somebody like me help? Well, uh, I do speak uh, some Thai, which means that I can help you with the ordering of your food, ensure that you get the dish that you want, and uh, there's five levels of sweetness in the coffee, five levels of spiciness and peppers within the food, and to make sure that we get it right for you. So the meal you have is something that you will enjoy. And, and above all else, it's about... Um, it's about when you go out somewhere remotely being able to find your way back so uh, with somebody like me then that's not going to happen you, you 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 will be with me all the time and i'll go out to with you on these trips and the destinations that i'm about to show you above all else i'll ensure you there's nothing worse well i think there's anyway when you go on holiday and somebody tells you about something that was just around the corner and you were maybe let's say 30 minutes away from it and you say why didn't you tell me or why didn't somebody say and i could have just gone there and, and you know i i, I could have seen it. i would have loved to have seen it well somebody like me is going to be aware of those things and and therefore i'm going to be able to tell you about things that you might like to do and things that especially once i get to know you i, I get a, i get a feel for what it is that uh, really motivates you so my name's John and I've spent the last 45 years uh, dealing with uh, Thai people and a lot of Thai culture and that's how I've been able to pick up the language and, and also a, a surety with that I have a language lesson every week to make sure that I can give you the best possible um, experience while we're there in uh, Thailand and, and that's what it's all about so you come back you're invigorated you're ready to go and I think that's really important here when you come back and you feel so excited about what you've done you're more a more able and more willing to want to give more because you feel more energized in what you do and that's been my experience of thailand every time i've come because of the shared enjoyment of the and the experiences that i've been through well here's here's the itinerary so we're proposing to start off on november the 6th we're going to travel to bangkok and then we'll be it takes uh, normally you'll land because 
they are uh, six or seven hours depending on when we go uh, ahead of us so we'll be landing on uh, november the 7th and on the first day we'll just be booking into into a hotel <clears throat> but there's a river trip as well so once you've booked in you've calmed down and i realize you're going to be a, a, a little bit tired but i think there's a better way to relax is probably to enjoy going along uh, the major river, uh, the Kaya River that runs through uh, Bangkok, and then just see some of the marvelous sights, as you can see in, in this picture here. And then <clears throat> we will visit uh, Grand Master Toddy. Now, Grand Master Toddy uh, uh, is uh, a Muay Thai instructor. He, he's trained champions all over the world. I first met uh, Grand Master Toddy back in the very late 1970s in Manchester. An, an absolutely uh, great story. And then um, <clears throat> on, on the, uh, so you'll meet him and you'll have a chance. If you if you wanted to do a little bit of Thai boxing, you'll have the opportunity to do it. I've never met anybody that's not wanted a, a, a little go. You know, and he's used to dealing with people from all over the world. So you're not going to be in a situation where you're going to uh, have to uh, uh, really rigorously train hard as if you're training for this uh, uh, big fight that's going to happen. It, it's a case of just experiencing it. And I, every time I have, wherever I've been, if I've ever got a set of pads out, most people want to have a little go. And that's exactly what it's about, just to give you a little go. Now, on November uh, the, the 9th, we're going to travel to Utaya, which is Old Siam. And, and we'll be booking into a hotel there. And the next day, it, it, this is a fantastic, like going back two and a half thousand years in, in, and uh, looking back at the way Thailand was then. And we're going to do this bike ride all around uh, Utaya. And then uh, on the 11th, we'll return to Bangkok. And then on the 12th and the 13th, you've got this opportunity again, If you, because I know there's one person in particular who definitely wants to have the experience of, tra uh, of training in, in a Thai gym. And they will get that. But I'll come down to the alternative things, because I, re I realise this, it's not for everyone. So there are going to be other things that you can do as well. And here are some of the other things. There's the, the bike tour of Utaya uh, and, uh, and the Bangkok, uh, Bangkok floating market. It's, it's just a, another type of experience, something else you can do other than uh, uh, train in the Muay Thai gym. Again, I would be with you. So if you choose to go here and you're going out of the area, I will be with you. Uh, most people, uh, I know every time I go to Thailand, so you, you've got to experience it. You've got to have a go in in, in the tuk tuk, and uh, um, yeah, it's brilliant. It, it's a laugh. You'll have a laugh as, as as you're going along. So you you will in, enjoy that. And most people, you know, there's fantastic shopping malls in, in Bangkok, and there's there's new ones that have just been built. Perhaps the more the more well known one is probably Terminal Twenty One, and I think that's in a sock on the BTS uh, railway. But again, I'll, I'll be with you and I will help you get there. That's uh, Grandmaster Toddy, because we're, we're all getting on now. But uh, just a little bit, a bit of background. He has two gyms down in Thailand, one in Bangkok and the other in Pechaberry. And, and we, will, we will be going along to uh, both of these gyms. And, and you'll meet him. And as I said, he's a fantastic storyteller. He'll tell you some really amusing stories uh, in the evening when we sat down, especially in Petra Belly, because it's such a relaxed atmosphere. It, it, Petra Belly is on the gym, on the on the beach. So it's a beachfront. It's a beach gym. So uh, it, it actually, all the accommodation is on the beach. There's a lovely coffee shop. So you can sit down and just relax on the beach if that's something that you'd like to do. <clears throat> and then here's the on November the 14th, uh, we can uh, leave Bangkok, Bangkok for Petchaberry uh, by taxi. And then on November the 15th, we'll be visiting, visiting a wildlife sanctuary. And this one uh, uh, is uh, recommended in, in, in all these sorts of travel books. So it's been highly recommended a uh, wildlife sanctuary where the, <coughs> where the animals are allowed to roam freely 
and then uh, after the wildlife sanctuary we've got three days november the 16th 17th and 18th and uh, for those that want to train in in the thai gym on on the beach you can have either private lessons or we can do some thai boxing while whilst we're there but but again and as i said in the evening we can listen to Grandmaster Toddy uh, relive his experiences with uh, Roger Moore on the set of the James Bond movie, The Man with the Golden Gun. <clears throat> and then on the on the uh, on the nineteenth, we're going to travel to Howin and uh, book into a hotel. I'm going to move on to that in a minute. I just wanted to say though, again, if the time boxer is not for you, don't worry because we have alternative things that you can do. So here's one. There's a a lovely temple here that that you can an alternate three which you can you can uh, you can visit. I, I love. I know one one of the things I really enjoy when I'm in Thailand is actually um, is walking around these temples because they're so colourful and uh, everything seems so alive. It's like a celebration of life in in, in itself. And you'll often see the monks uh, walking around. And often it's the case, you might see them sitting down and you can sit down and have a chat with them and talk over a whole myriad of different things that you, you, you may want to ask about, about their life because it's such an interesting uh, life that they, that they lead. And it, when you get talking to them, you, you begin to, to realise this. And I, 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 one, one of the things I learned and found quite surprising is that one of the guys that used to teach me in, in Bangkok uh, was a monk himself so he teach me Thai boxing and he was really really very good but he he was a monk as, as, as well okay so that's one of the alternative things and one of the days you can do besides sitting at the beach in Betchaberry which I've got to say it's a beautiful beach uh, and another the thing is uh, is the caves in Betchaberry a fantastic uh, day out uh, and this is something that you, you 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 may decide that you just like to you might want to train a little bit in the gym and then say well do you know what I, I, I'd like to go and see this as well which is fine we, we we can arrange and we we can work around you and we we can do this as well <clears throat> so and then after 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 um <clears throat> After Petraberry, we're then going to and uh, go to uh, Hao Hin, which is uh, so. This is a typical hotel, uh, and all the hotels are, are next to the beach. So just on the other side of there, to the right, as you look at it, is it, it's a, it's a lovely beach, and the, all the beaches are, are white and sandy. They're, they're absolutely marvelous. <clears throat> And then, uh, so we've got the beach, the hotel pool in in, in the evening, uh, and I just put, I just sort of tried to present a, a time to chill out because up to then we've been really busy. Uh, we've been busy in Bangkok. I've gone to a Thai and coming back to Bangkok, and then going to Petchberry, and again we've been in this gym and gone on various days. And I realised, you know, that can be tiring. So how here is a real chilled out place, and it's a chance to to sort of kick back a bit, watch the world go by, and you'll often it's so. The beaches are so quiet, you'll often see the monks actually, so if you're getting up early in the morning for a walk along the shore, you'll often see the monks doing the same walk. And, and again, you, you, you know, um, if they approach you and talk to you, then that's fine, but you must not approach the monk. And then, so we're there for a few, a few days, um, from the, the 20th to um, the 23rd, <coughs> and then we're going to, travel back to bangkok on a on a, on a local train for four hours and i thought this journey is 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 quite interesting um just just because you, you rather than jump in the taxi here's all the busy road that you're going to see some of the landscape a different landscape by by going on the train and then here's the th other things that, that you can do in, in how in um <clears throat> so this is it a beach and evening meal cruise is one of the things, uh, one of the activities that that we will be doing. An absolutely fantastic uh, experience, a, a real great way to sort of chill out and, uh, and and enjoy a sunset. And these are typical Hauhen beaches, white, really uh, light white sand all the way through. And, and the, the, where we're going in November is the ideal time to go to Howhen. The ideal time to go. So, and then from uh, that itinerary, 
on November on the 23rd, we actually get the train back to Bangkok and we're going to fly from the Domoeng Airport. We're going to then fly to Phuket and we're going to pick up the pace again in, in Phuket. And uh, so when we land on the 24th and the 25th, I put some time aside to explore the beaches in Patong, but also Bangla Road. So Bangla Road is, uh, you know, full of bars, uh, clubs and everything. It's quite noisy. You're going to see all, all, all the nightlife <coughs> that you, you may have heard about in Thailand. It, it, it's, got, it's going to be here as well. And then on November the 26th, there's the trip to see the Big Buddha in Phuket. Now, I went there about five years ago. Marvellous experience. And I got, I, I, I took the, uh, I did uh, what the experience of going around, but I also got the, the Buddha that was in place there to, to, to bless me and my family when we were there last time. And that's something that you may decide that you, that you want to do as well. On the 27th, the beach hotel and, and the local restaurants and bars, again, just picking up the, the sort of local vibe. <coughs> On the 28th, we're going to go to James Bond Island, which is a, a, a day trip. So we're going to make our way to the um, shoreline, and then from there we'll be pick, picked up by the boat, and, and we'll be taken to on, on this boat journey for the day. <coughs> and then the next day on the 29th, beach hotel pool, local restaurant bars again so you get a full feel of it and then on the 30th a trip to the old town in Phuket and then on December the 1st and the 2nd just to relax and chill out before return on December the 3rd <coughs> so here's uh, there's the big Buddha <coughs> excuse me you can see why it's called the big Buddha because it's absolutely massive and uh, um, it's just a, a fantastic sight and a, a, a fantastic experience. And, and as it is going around the, the, the old town, you know, when you're looking at it, 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 it looks very much like a European uh, city. And um, I, I think it's probably from the, although Thailand has never been a, 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 a colonial city, it does have very much a, a European influence within the architecture, and it's it's just great looking around. Uh, I, I suppose it's just it's something you don't expect to see um, traditional tri Thai way of living, but in uh, a sort of English or English or European backdrop to it. So it it, it does throw you a little bit. <clears throat> right. <laughs> so how does the how does the how does the time and guide and tour works well <clears throat> first of all what does the price include and it includes all the following <clears throat> your price include includes all your hotel costs so you won't pay nothing for your hotel at all it includes all entrance fees activities training fees everything that i've spoken the most it includes all those things it includes all internal times a uh, time and transport including taxis, trains, and air flights. So everything's paid for once you pay this sum. But what your price does not include is this, your flights and return from, uh, from Thailand. So in other words, your flight to Thailand and your <clears throat> flight back to UK. That's something that falls outside of this remit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, any meals or drinks, it's very cheap in, in Thailand anyway with regards to eat and drink, but then an additional cost uh, to you. That is unless that it, uh, some of the trips do include uh, food and, uh, for instance, uh, 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 the uh, the cruise in Hao Hin includes a, a, a meal and that, that obviously would have been paid for. But the majority of the time you will be expected to pay. Uh, for uh, the most of your meals unless that is the, the, the some of the hotels when you pay for them that will include a, a bed and breakfast type of approach so you be able to go out and have your breakfast so the only thing you'll really be paying for in most instances it would be your source of lunch and the evening meal now the, the other question i often ask is do i have to do the 28 days and what's the cost no you don't have to do the 28 days I'm asking you to look at that schedule and pick within that schedule what you'd like to do. Myself personally, I think uh, it's a long way to go for seven days and perhaps even 14. But, you know, if you could do any more than 14, that's what I'd, I'd be looking to do. And then what we've got to think about where, 
where are you going to fly to and where can we meet you so it might be the second half or <clears throat> or or um it may be um it may be that you meet us in, ba in bangkok and you do the first couple of weeks what, whatever it's going to take <clears throat> excuse me um let me know because you can pick it and then we're going we're going to have to work around what it is uh, how long you select you'd like to do or you can do the the full 28 days and then there's the um then the cost the full 28 days covering everything as in item one is two thousand three hundred and forty pound which calculates roughly about 84 pound per day so i think that's considering what we're doing and way the way that we're traveling and uh it's 28 days you know it's a almost a full month you know it's it's not bad at all and then you know james bond island so this this is pp island as, as, as you know it's about and that's the photograph that most people take on pp island uh, replicating roger moore and uh, christopher lee so if you've uh, how to book and uh, do you have any questions well you can contact me john on that email there a payment window will be, will be created on that website so i'm going to be putting a payment window up and i will generate a stage payment system but what i need to know is how long it is that you intend that you intend to stay with us because that will dictate the way that the payment system will work <clears throat> if you have any questions anything you'd like to do i'd rather just email me with your mobile number and i'll call you to discuss how long it is that you intend uh, to stay for and which parts of the trip or the things that you most like to do and lastly don't forget life is far too short to have regrets of things that you could have done and then you didn't do them pat yourself on the back just go for it if it's something that you've been thinking about that you would really like to do there's no time like today just go for it i hope to hear from you soon